NixOS is often regarded as one of the best Linux distros for developers, and as such, often attracts novice programmers who frequently choose Python as their first language to learn. Which is where the problem arises, because Python is a language notorious for having a pretty horrible package manager, which unsurprisingly is even trickier to use on NixOS. And so in this video, we will talk about several approaches you can take to develop Python on NixOS, starting with using Python without relying on Nix much, and finishing with several ways that fully embrace the Nix philosophy, as well as some useful tips and tools you may want to know about. But before we move on, comes a word from the sponsor of today's video, and not just any sponsor, because this is the first advertisement on the channel to teach you even more about Nix, featuring determinate systems. You likely already know them for their great work bringing Nix to the enterprise, which they do by creating various projects that make Nix more accessible, like their easy-to-use Nix installer written in Rust, determinate Nix for enterprises, and most importantly, Flake Hub, the go-to platform for discovering, sharing, and managing Nix flakes, which comes with a ton of cool features, including a modern open-source CLI that makes creating and managing flakes absolutely trivial as well as support for private flakes through user authentication, which I know many of you will definitely love, and even semantic versioning for flakes, ensuring that you always stay in full control of your updates and never experience unpredictable breaking changes. Many of your favorite projects can already be found on FlakeHub, so don't hesitate to try it out today by signing up for free at flakehub.com and get an entire free month of pro plan with coupon ThimJoyer, giving you access to all features FlakeHub has to offer, including FlakeHub Cash and the private flakes mentioned earlier. Back to the video, but before we begin, a quick disclaimer, I am not a professional Python developer, far from it, so if there is anything you want to add or correct, feel free to leave a comment. All right. With that out of the way, the first approach which we are going to look at is using Python while minimizing the use of Nix. Because even though it's not an ideal way to do it, it will still be useful to those of you who work on projects that don't use Nix, and of course will help us understand why using pip on NixOS is such a hassle. And so to begin, we obviously first need to install Python, which can be done by simply adding it to your system packages to have it globally, or even better, using a Nix shell to grab it temporarily and not pollute your user environment. Then once you have it, try it out in a REPL using a regular Python command, and it should work out of the box. However, the part where you will start running into issues is when you decide to install some packages. To demonstrate, let's try to create the event, install NumPy, and try to import it in a REPL, only to get an error telling us about a missing libstdc++ library. Why did that happen? Well, it's all because, although Python itself is an interpreted language, many of its packages rely on libraries written in fast, low-level compiled languages like C or C++. And on regular Linux distros, these libraries typically live in various lib directories like lib, userlib, or userlocallib, all of which are exposed to your user environment by default, free for Python to access whenever it needs them. But on NixOS, every package you install is stored in the Nix store, which sandboxes all programs and libraries away from each other, allowing you to install several versions of anything and keeping your user environment clean. Meaning if we want Python to see any of the libraries it needs, we simply need to expose them to it. And the easiest way to do it is using a Nix shell. I already have several videos about Nix shells on the channel, so feel free to check them out if you want to learn more about them. But right now, all we need to do is create a shell.nix file in any directory and fill it with the structure you see on the screen. Within this file, we can specify any packages and environment variables that our shell should have, which is exactly what we need, because the ld library path environment variable is what most Unix-like operating systems use to locate shared libraries. To declare it, we can use a very convenient Nix packages function called make library path, which takes an array of packages as a parameter, and for every package we put inside of it, we will get its libraries added to our library path. And thus, to get NumPy to work, we will need libstdc++ and libz, found in the two packages you can see on the screen. Afterwards, let's enter the shell with the Nix shell command, activate the venv again, and try to import NumPy, which will actually work now. And if you are wondering, the flake way to do it would look something like this, not much different, we are simply wrapping our shell with a flake and changing the command. And now that we know how to use Python without relying on Nix, let's actually try to fully embrace Nix and let it manage our Python dependencies too, because doing so is even more simple. 
I will once again use a Nix shell to demonstrate, and so to install Python packages the Nix way, we can use a special function found under python.with packages, which allows us to extend the environment of Python to include any packages we may need. The syntax may look a bit unusual, but bear with me, because this here is just a function that takes Python itself as a parameter and returns an array of packages to install alongside it. This is needed because if you search for any Python package on search.nixos.org, you will see that they all are located under a specific version of Python. So by having this reference here, we only need to specify the Python version once, and then every package will come from the reference to it. But to go one step further, let's also shorten our expression using the with keyword, as well as change the reference name to just p to save some additional space. And so this here is the syntax you can use to install Python bundled with any packages you may need. Now let's start the shell, and inside of it we will have Python with all the packages we defined without having to worry about any dependencies, libraries or even vents. But of course, I already hear you ask, but what if some package is not included in Nix packages? And the most obvious answer here is to simply package it ourselves. To do it, we can use the build python package function, which just like any other language specific builder function, comes with its own set of parameters, including the name, the version, the source, and so on, all of which you will have to fill out manually. Just kidding, instead, let's use a tool called pip2nix, which can generate all the python package boilerplate for us. To call it, we can use the nix run command, passing it either a list of packages in a regular pip format, or an entire requirements.txt also in the pip format. And once it is done running, you will get a file called pythonpackages.nix containing a nice override expression with all the packages you specified along with their dependencies. Some of them may of course require you to add some additional build inputs manually, but everything else will be filled out for you. Then all that's left to do is to apply the overrides to an instance of Python, and to do it, let's first use the call package function on the generated file to get the overrides, and then apply them to Python using the override function. The resulting Python instance can now be used the same way we used the original one, meaning we can once again call the with packages function, but now also include any of the custom packages we generated. And just so you also have a flake example, here's how you apply the overrides to Python in a flake shell. And finally, to finish off, I'll quickly tell you about several alternative ways you can use Python, because obviously, the first one was quite awkward and the second one can get pretty complex. So first, one project I often see Python developers, or really any developers use, is devenv, which is an easy to use alternative to traditional Nix shells. And for Python specifically, it comes with an option to automatically construct venvs with any requirements, meaning all you have to do is run devenv in it in any directory to initialize a shell, put several lines into the generated devenv.nix file, and finally run a devenv shell command to enter the shell. You will probably also want to include its cache options in your configuration.nix so you don't have to compile anything, but all the instructions will be provided to you once you activate it. Generally, this method is probably the easiest one out there. And if none of the options mentioned today work for your use case, or the projects you need to run or develop are simply too much of a hustle to get to work on NixOS, there is no shame in using Docker or any other container technology. After all, we don't live in a perfect world, so don't force yourself to do everything the perfect way. And now, I'd like to thank all the amazing people that support the channel and keep it going, especially all of our great monthly supporters, of which we have one new member and one returning member, so thanks Spiralized and Aiding Batpander for signing up. Your support is invaluable. And as always, don't forget to check out our Discord server, leave a like or a comment if you enjoyed this video, or subscribe if you are feeling extra generous. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.